Yes, cut. Hi, Oma. Yes. Bye. Yes, our boss is coming. Hi. Hi from. Good evening from Istanbul, Turkey. Fam, this is a Friday evening and uh, I'm starting up a vlog here. <laughs> you guys know I can start a vlog anywhere, anytime. Today is Friday and uh, we are going for, we are going to wear keeping. Yes, you guys remember that uh, Mr. Fred that, you know, passed. So today is his, his um, wear keeping and tomorrow will be his burial. They will bury him tomorrow and today is his wake keep. So that is where I'm going with my baby girl. Honestly, yeah. He's still doing me like a dream. I've made a video of him on my channel. And maybe I can put the link on my description. Okay. I featured him on my video a long time ago. Oh my goodness, like fam. Anyway guys, come along with us. If I can be able to capture one or two moments, you know, I will. But if I cannot, let's see how it goes, fam. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Makanega like, yeah. I'm already becoming emotional already, but God help me today. Honestly speaking, the death of this man really pierced my heart. It hurts so much. It hurts everyone, not only me. The people he has impacted life with. Although we are on the way, I will still talk to you guys and debunk why the death of this man is paining everyone. I will share with you guys. All right. So for now, we are going there. Come along with us, okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
shall it be in the name of Jesus. And I pray for God's peace upon us. I pray for God's protection upon us. I pray for God's strength upon us. So shall it be. Amen. He came in peace. We shall go in peace. May the peace of God go with us all. Thank you so much. You're highly welcome back again. Today is Saturday and uh, <laughs> I just want to end this video here. I started it yesterday. Yesterday was Friday. Okay, and uh, we went for uh, Mr. Fred's candle night. Uh, it's, it's also called wakeeping. All right, yeah. So we went for his candle night yesterday and uh, I, I thought I would be able to vlog or not vlog. I thought I would be able to capture one or two moments for you people but unfortunately i couldn't find myself doing that honestly speaking so the clips you guys watched uh we are the ones people we are able to you know capture all right and please i i i'm sorry about that and uh because it wasn't filmed in a re youtube ratio it was filmed vertically i i hope you guys understand what i mean okay so yeah today he was led to rest he was buried today I couldn't go because I have, you know, kids that I was looking after. So I couldn't just, you know, I couldn't go. If not, I would have loved to be there. But I, unfortunately, Mr. Fred has been led to rest. And um, I finally believed that he's late, he's gone. Before, I was finding it difficult to accept it or to believe that, you know, he's actually dead something like that but seeing him where he was led to rest that is when i believe that mr fred this is him here this is him he has been led to rest so and i pray that god you know grants him eternal rest you know may he so rest in perfect peace amen and i pray that god will console his family the wife the children his family brothers you know relations with the family friends well wishers that god give us the heart to bear this lord because he really touched everyone he really pierced people's hearts all right so yeah i just want to end this video by you know saying few goodwill you know message or uh in few ways um mr fred has you know impacted in our lives or you know yeah mr fred is a very good man he lived a very good life, the one I see, okay? So he lived a very good life. He has, he's a very humble man. He's a rich, humble man. This man, rich, he gave money, he famous. Mr. Fred is a footballer here in Turkey. He, I don't actually know the name of the club he's playing in Turkey, but he's a very top, well-known person here in Turkey. So for that kind of person to... to you know, you know, say footballer now, they don't be small people. They don't be this person, a current player. Uh -huh. So, the man is well to do. He's an honorable in the Nigerian community. He has money, he has company, he has, he has brands. He has so many things. But this man is humble, like humble to the core. This one, I they say, big man, way humble. I see him for Mr. Fred. You see this guy you are seeing here? This man. Ah, he was a very good man. Angel have known him for a very long time. You know, when they were in church, when Angel came, I think he met him in church. When, you know, churches, where they were going before we finally, you know, came to Omega at that time. So her hobby have known him for long. And ever since then, they have been close. They have been talking. He has become a family friend to us. And when I came to Turkey, I met him. He has been good. He has been good. Mr. Fred is a very nice man. I'm telling you guys. Just these few months that my angel is not around, this man carry our matter for head. There is no day or time I will write Mr. Fred that he will not respond to my message. Now, you guys remember in my husband's case, we called lawyer. And sometimes I may not really understand what the lawyer is saying because sometimes she will use voice notes. I will send it to Mr. Fred. He will be the one to read it and give me and tell me this is what the lawyer is trying to say because he understands Turkish very well. This man has been there. I lost that my phone. He was there at the police station. It was his paper. They used to do everything like 
they use his you know information to do everything he stood as a guarantor hi god this man sometimes i wonder what kind of man is this when my baby girl was sick he followed me to the hospital you know because there was something they were requesting you know where my husband is he made sure that everything is going well he will call on us to check on us he will come he will bring money he will send ask me send your accounts he will send money to us just to make sure i and my baby girl is okay because my angel is not around this man has been dead all right fam i can't forget to say this particular one mr fred uses his car to go to people's house you know to pick them from their houses and bring them to church because most people do not really have documents to move around like that so what he does is that he will take he will use his car and go to people's house he will pick them bring them to church and then after service he will you know start taking them back to their houses one after another to make sure that they are safe just tell me fam this man loves god he's a man of god he he doesn't joke with the things of god like oh god like i can if i should go on and on and on and on honestly mr fred did not deserve to die this man did not deserve to die it hurts up until now it really hurts me like it's it's paining everyone honestly speaking ah oh may he so rest in peace it was it was a very devastating one for us oh god I pray that his soul rests in peace and God grant him eternal rest and give us the heart to bear this loss because it was a very hot, hot, hot one, Mr. Fred. With all the deeds, with all the good of this man, he did not deserve to die. He did not deserve to die. I wish Christ can bring back, can bring him back, but Mr. Fred is gone and ah. Uh, they say everything that happens in life, God knows, God knows the best. That is all I can say. And I want to use this medium to or just to, you know, live a very good life. If you are, you know, if you are far from God, please come closer to God. Come closer to God. Live a very good life. You know, um, ah. I don't know what else to say, but I just want to beg us, you know, this life, nothing is in it. There's nothing in this life. There's nothing to boost. There's nothing to even boost. Just imagine this man with all he has, with all the money, with everything he has, yet he died and left everything behind. Just think about it. Think about, think just, let's just take a moment and think about our lives what is our purpose in this life? Are you, you know, living the life Christ wants us to live? Are you living the life of, you know, are you living your life in a good way? Just ask yourself some questions and please, let's not boost off this life. There is nothing in this life. Just within twinkle of an eye, the person you see today, they will tell you the person is no more. And I pray that we we'll all live long to you know we we'll all live long to uh, accomplish our purpose or our existence on this earth our life will not be cut short the life of our families loved ones children will not be cut short may god help us all in jesus name thank you so much if you watched up until this moment i really and i truly appreciate thank you thank you and i will see you in the next one Bye, fam.